Hello, my name is Walter, and we are doing a season recap. So, if you did not know already, or uh, you haven't watched my uh, vlog uh, before this episode, I told you guys that I will be doing this series, uh, and the series is 13 Reasons Why. Uh, and I will be doing a season recap first, just to let you guys know what my whole uh, feelings about it is. Uh, just to let you guys know the general feel of it and yes you hear fireworks in the background because uh, Shawal just started and now uh, in Malaysia we are a Muslim majority country so you hear uh, fireworks with, uh, in the background because they are starting off the kind of like new month for them I guess uh, you know just to share with you guys while you hear you know uh explosions in the background it's not really explosions don't worry about it okay um i know a lot of things have happened okay it's not it's not a joke okay i know that so i'm just letting you guys know so that you're not worried about me okay so here's the thing guys um suicide is not something I want to talk about because uh, you know I'm no expert in it I just have very strong opinions on it and you may or may not agree with me and that's fine you know we have our own opinions and here's the thing 13 reasons why is very average I know a lot of people are like oh it's the greatest series ever and it's about to change how we look at our kids and you know how we take care of our kids and uh, you know it's gonna help more high school students um, high school students identify you know and maybe they can stop no it's not uh, what you're doing here is that you're putting light on a very difficult subject to be taken and when the final scene showed I believe there were some copycats you know not to say not to say anything bad about copycats it's just that that's what happens when you shine a light on suicide because it's with any death really like let's say uh, a celebrity's death you know let's say um, Amy Winehouse's death you know was very tragic you know we don't know why she did it uh, obviously you know it was linked with drugs but you know we never will know the full story and after watching I after I watched the documentary movie it didn't seem like she was gonna go back to drugs but maybe she went back to it we don't know we will never know and we should not need to know you know we should respect people's decisions and uh, I'm not saying suicide is good I'm not saying suicide is bad I'm just saying it's a hard subject to talk about and uh, here's the thing uh, there are two sides to the coin I have to talk about because in the series they brought it up as well you know is, did she do it for attention or did she do it for a better cause and for me I'm on the fence because the first few episodes and I'll be talking about this during the post episode uh, the post episode breakdowns uh, the first few episodes for me really felt like she wanted to have her voice heard in that I mean that she may have wanted some attention before she left this world and it's understandable as a person who almost killed themselves which is me uh, I can only say that it's it's very horrible to have these thoughts and I I'm so glad that I have friends in my side and you know they just like said push through it and I don't know what I would do without them and you know I, I kind of identify with Hannah here and more so with Clay in the later episodes I feel um, but you know there's something to be said when you're a girl as well so I'm a guy I 
I don't know the shit that goes down with girls. You know, I I grew up with three sisters, so I have no problem treating girls with respect. But there are some guys who will catcall, who will, you know, do these kind of stupid things, just like macho, and it's, you know what. Sometimes I do it too. You know, I'm not taking the high road. You know, I'm not saying that I never do these things. I sometimes do, but when I do these things, I know that I'm fucking stupid, and I kind of like regret it after I do it. You know, I'm like, damn it! I went back to my whole Neanderthal, you know, in the middle of evolution or whatever. But there is something to be said when you're a girl, especially in high school. So that's. Something I can't really talk about even more, you know. It's something to be talked about more about with women. You know, I would very much like to invite a girl YouTuber to bounce ideas off of, but I sadly do not have any friends doing YouTube. It's only me and kind of my friend. You know, sometimes I do it with him, but. Again, he's a guy. I'm a guy. We not. We are not really sure, like, how the whole girl kingdom works. We we know how the guy kingdom works. You know, we know that the macho guy is always like you, and you know he doesn't mean much. You know, he's just there to be a prick. Um, and you know the girls do have kind of that thing as well. You know, portrayed in media as well, uh, and all of those things. But with guys, is more of like we know we're just playing around with each other we we don't really take things too seriously we just brush it off and we just joke around with it um which is not to say that's a good thing you know we don't as i've always said like you can't brush your feelings under the rug if you need to talk to uh, to somebody about what happened go you know if you need to write it down do it if you want to maybe have a closer friend try try to keep them around but of course friends come and go I'm not saying like you should be desperate to have friends I'm saying like you need to know how to pick friends and I think that's an underlying theme in this uh, show because I, I watched this show twice so get the first time I watched it the first episode I couldn't get through it because this is very much an artsy, you know, playback to the 80s kind of thing, the same way Stranger Things did it. But the difference between Stranger Things and this is that Stranger Things had more of a mystery going for it. And uh, I will be talking about how this show kind of reminds me of the movie Paper Towns, in which the guy chases up the girl, the girl, you know, with crews left for him and everything like that. But I will also say that from the second viewing, I can see why certain people will like it. Uh, you know, I'm not saying like I will go out of my way to recommend this show to anybody, as everybody has gone out of the way to recommend the show to me. Uh, but I will say this: I will say that it is very artsy. It is a throwback to the 80s it is very much the whole oh you millenniums you don't know what you got and like you don't know what's art anymore you know this is pure art and shows the cassette and you know this old Sony Walkmans and you know that's coming back into movies as well with Guardians of the Galaxy and I, I get it you know the Gen X's are now our creators and I don't mind them you know sharing their technology with us you know I do wish that they stop shoving it in our face but you know what if that's their way of saying hey we're still with you guys and you know the hipsters of the uh, the new generation of like yeah that's that's good I know that cuz I have that you know and I thought Tony was gonna be the token uh, hipster but he plays a much bigger part in the next few episodes um, so that's my general feel of it I would rate this movie at 7 I'm, I, I, I don't know because 
honestly, uh, honestly, I rate it at more of a 6.5. Like, that's my feeling. Like, 6.5, 7. So, it's in between that. So, run with it if you want. But, I will say that we shouldn't be glorifying this series in that I mean we should be able to talk about this we should be able to say alright this happened why it happened is important because you know the, the, the thing leading up to her death is very sensible because she did go to see someone about it she asked for advice and she didn't get it and you know that was the last straw for her and uh, that I will be talking in the you know the episode breakdown as I said in this episode um so I don't really have anything to say but maybe one day I'll get my own tape and probably say oh Walter this is because you know you did a video saying like you know addressing the problems of suicide is not important it is important it is important to talk about why suicide happens yes but if we do not know the facts if we do not know the consequences of what we say or what we do we cannot fully know how it affects people and that's the another underlying theme here today because you know i'm mostly affected by academic pressure i'm not a studious guy again i'm saying i hate my academics i hate to do exams i love to write I love to I love to go out of the box, you know, I don't love I don't be like being confined to one place. I just wanna discover, explore, you know. And I really thought her poetry was good, so again, like that's something I will be addressing in the in the next few videos as well. Um And of course, uh, just my luck, you know addressing this show is not very easy for me because somebody did commit suicide and uh you know it caused them someone to retract from work and that's um Zack Snyder's uh, daughter uh, Autumn Snyder and uh maybe this is kind of a dedication to him I don't know how he'll take it uh, you know it's a very sad thing when a parent loses their kid because no parent wants to lose their kid you know they only want the best you know maybe they've pushed but they've pushed in the right mindset you know they don't they don't really think like what we're going through and all that because they've gone through it already and from the other side it always looks to be easier on the other side because you know we always say the grass is always greener on the other side and that could mean two things as well you know whether you're outside the gate and looking in and seeing the grass or green or you're there and you see a green patch but you see like suddenly the next few yards is green than your patch of grass in front of you so um yeah not I'm not. I'm nothing much to say about the season recap because it's all in the episodes, and I really want to save those to to really nail something with you guys, and hopefully I give you more of a full idea of how I felt about it through these episode breakdowns because I really want you guys to understand that um, suicide cannot be really you know cannot be really like talked in depth because there are certain factors to be put into this and it all stems from psychology it all stems from 
something in their lives just spurring them on you know not in the right way you know spurring them on in the wrong way and in Hannah's case it was all these pieces coming in and uh, you know bullying not really bullying but you know peer pressure kind of thing uh the demands of the high school i should say you know the high school kingdom because it's more of a a kingdom than you know it's always the the high school experience i would say but i didn't really have that in malaysia so it's more of you guys as one and i i, I as an outsider cannot really tell you if that's really true but what i can tell you is that the mind is very complicated and you can notice signs you know what they said was something true you know if someone is always alone try to go to them try to interact with them it doesn't matter if they're weird it doesn't matter if they're you know maybe a little bit annoying but if you know them a little bit more i'm sure you can chill and find something to do with them um so yeah that's about it guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the season recap and i i hope to do more justice during the uh episode breakdown so uh yeah i will see you during those and i will see you during those see you then <laughs>